Get me some toilet duck, a Scottish kilt, and my own personal Tatiana, because we're going in hard, ladies and gentlemen. And I am absolutely excited for the announcements that have come out this week. So the Critical Drinker decided that he was going to drop a little bit of a thing on his YouTube today and expect nobody to cover it. Well, ha! Critical Drinker, you didn't expect a drink with crazy. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome to A Drink With Crazy. My goal with this channel is to cover all things that are happening, that are exciting, and that are getting us excited to be fans once again. Tonight, we're drinking good old Bud Light. Maybe I should get something a little harder if I'm covering the critical drink. No, I got to work tomorrow. No, nope, that's not going to be a thing. Nope, nope. Maybe tomorrow night. So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's get into the announcement that Critical Drinker made today on YouTube. All right, the Critical Drinker posts on his community tab. A big announcement coming soon. Sign up here for updates. Ooh, what is this? Rogue Elements, a Ryan Drake story? Well, what does that mean? That means that the man's has earned 84 thousand dollars in his kickstarter campaign the backers are going up as we speak this is And that is the announcement of Critical Drinker's first short film to show off his Ryan Drake character that he has been writing on for, what, close to a decade now? I know he's got, what, 10 books out for uh, the Ryan Drake series, which is an action spy novel that I have not read that I would like to read. But let's go over the story real quick. Well, hello there. It's the Critical Drinker from YouTube, or as I am sometimes known, Will Jordan, author of the Ryan Drake series. For years, I've been reviewing movies, some great and some called The Last Jedi. Cheers. After watching so many films and shows and getting frustrated at the declining quality of filmmaking these days, I began to think that maybe it was time I threw my hat into the ring and gave it a shot myself. No, no, sir, sir, you throw the kilt into the ring. You're Scottish. And if you're really Scottish, apparently you ain't got nothing under the kilt. So that'd be, that's, oh, that's an image I didn't need in my head. Why did I do that to myself? Anyway, comment down below. Would you rather the kilt be thrown or would you rather the hat be thrown? Uh, but ha <laughs> how to go about it? After all, making a movie is complicated. Is a complicated business. Sorry about that. And I need people with talent and experience to make it happen. That's when life threw me a little bone. And I got an email earlier this year from a man deep in the frozen wilderness of Canada. He claimed to be a filmmaker and that he had an idea he'd like to share with me. I was skeptical at first because the internet isn't exactly known for the land, as the land of fair deals and uh, no catch business offers, but hey, it's worth taking a leap of faith and this was one of those times. I gambled and replied to the email and soon I was on a video chat with a bald pale faced near middle aged man who pitched me an idea. He talked for a bit too long. And to be honest, I was starting to blank out by the end, but I could tell he was on to something, and that was the beginning of Rogue Elements. Like I mentioned before, I'm not tearing apart terrible movies on YouTube. Uh, I, like I mentioned before, when I'm not tearing apart terrible movies on YouTube, my God, it's almost like people who drink on YouTube can't talk. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I like to indulge my creative side by writing novels. I'm best known for my action thriller series, Ryan Drake. And just who is Ryan Drake, I hear you say. Well, Ryan Drake is a man who finds people who don't want to be found. 
Once a soldier in the British Army, he now works for the CIA. Wait, 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 wait. He was a Brit and now he's working for the US CIA? No, we kicked you guys out. You're not supposed to be. Never mind. Anyway, leading an elite investigation team that tracks down missing agents. <laughs> I digress. There was something about the Ryan Drake series that had ignited a spark in this <clears throat> that had ignited a spark in this Canadian director. And together we wrote a short 20-page script set in the universe I had created 10 years ago. I was right. I was right. It was 10 years ago. I was right. CIA operative Ryan Drake, but he's a Brit. So is he really CIA? Ha. Ah. God, you get rid of them in 1776 and they come back in like 2012. <sighs> they tried doing it in the 60s with the British invasion of music. Uh. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> CIA, I brought <of> Ryan Drake. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Lost my, lost my composure there for a second. <laughs> oh, dirty Brits. I'm only joking. Mildly. CIA operative Ryan Drake is hoping to recover valuable CIA assets. Are we going to say CIA some more? Critical drinker? And must infiltrate a heavily fortified base in order to do so. Unknown to Drake, his every move is being watched by a shadowy figure with minimal resistance. Drake silently makes his way into the base and rescue uh and rescue the asset ooh the asset ooh is it is it a scantily clad young woman that you are talking about good drinker sir <laughs> things take a turn for the worse when the shadowy figure makes their presence known and all hell breaks out drake must now shoot his way out of his base while having to deal with the mis this mysterious assassin the thing that makes me so excited about this is that I believe that we are in the renaissance of media. We went through the woke garbage. We went through the fourth great religion trying to tear everything down. And it's still infecting our politics, but politics is always four to five years behind. And so I believe that with the amount of creativity right now and the amount of people coming out and saying, and we're not going to go with this anymore. We're going to do our own thing. We're going to do what we want to do. We're going to build and create good stories and good storytelling again. This is something that I think needs to happen. And in about four to five years, we're going to start to see the culture shift. We've had people doing things for a long time, but it's all culminating around the idea of the Iron Age right now, which is just awesome. And I love it. And I do a lot of Iron Age videos, and I try to shout out a lot of smaller creators. But this, this was a video that I needed to do because I needed to shout out what the drinker is doing and how he is entering film. I think that this is something that should absolutely be shouted to the rooftops. And if I may, I hope all of you out there share this video so much that I get to freaking at least talk to the critical drinker or like he notices me on Twitter or something. Like, can you do that for me, people? Come on. It's the critical freaking drinker. And I'm a drink with crazy. Like, we should be two peas in a pod. Or, you know, two Scots passed out on a bar floor. I mean, I'm not really Scottish. I'm, I do have some Irish in me, though. So <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to talk about is this little bit right here. Oh, I need to make this. Nope, nope, not you, not you. Where's my display capture? You ever do things, and when you do the things, you go, wait a minute, that's not what I need it to do. Uh... Oh, come on, stop it. I need to make this display capture where it needs to go. There we go, and now we have a full screen display. This is... The Epic Verse Teaser, a commercial of fire. For years, we've had to deal with Hollywood's woke onslaught of destructive agendas in their films. That changes today. That's why we launched Epic Verse. At Epic Verse, we care about excellent storytelling and respect for our fans. Things Hollywood has forgotten. So follow Epic Verse wherever you can and tell your friends. We can't win without you. The 
The comeback starts today. Will you join us? So that was the teaser trailer from Josiah Rises and Epic Mike. Two YouTube personalities that I have uh, loosely followed. I don't exactly follow. I like Epic Mike on uh, Secrets of the Frost Maiden on the Geeks and Gamers tabletop channel. Josiah Rises, although I like his personality, his content is not necessarily for me. However, he points out a lot of things that need to be pointed out. This man has been going after Hollywood and the sick and twisted things that they have been doing for years. So I would strongly recommend to everybody out there, for those of you who are like, man, when are we going to see the change? Where, where's something that I can support? <coughs> my God. <I've... coughs> oh my goodness. I'm an unprofessional tonight. I apologize. That was terrible. Where can we go and support these guys? Well, check them out. The Critical Drinker on YouTube and the Epic Verse also on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Renaissance. It has been so eloquently coined as the Iron Age. And thusly, from the Iron Age, we will build the culture of mankind. So thank you all for checking out this video. I hope you all enjoyed my blunders and all because you're here on a drink with crazy. What else would you expect? If you really liked what I am doing here and you liked my presentation style, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, ring the notification bell, and don't forget to listen to the outro to tell you guys how to support the channel more. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to see some old live streams on the channel, you should totally become a member. Because remember, it's two bucks a month to become a member of the channel, and you guys will get to see all the past live streams. I'm actually really, really excited about some of the people that I've had on lately. I've had on John Della Rose, Mike S. Miller. We're starting a Friday night live stream, or yeah, Friday night live stream to be the counterpart to Friday night tights. We are calling it Iron Age Nights. And our goal here. Wow, Friday Night Tights goes and eviscerates the old media and makes sure that they put them in their place. We're here to elevate the new media, the new writers, and the new things that are happening. So thank you all so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.